Hey, this is Brian from DisableMyCable.com, and today I'm going to tell you how to find the nearest 5G cell towers in your area. Now, there are several reasons you might want to do this. I wanted to do it because I have 5G home internet from Verizon, and I want to see where the cell towers were so I could put my home internet gateway in the best location in my home. Or you might be thinking about getting a 5G home internet service and you want to know if there are 5G towers in your area. Or you may just want to switch cell phone services and you want to see if there's 5G towers in your area as well. Those are all valid reasons and this tool will work for all of those reasons. Now the tool I'm going to use is called cellmapper.net. It is a tool that relies on crowdsourced data. So it is not guaranteed to be 100% accurate, but it's pre pretty accurate. It's good enough to get an idea of how strong the signals are going to be in your area. So let's dive right in. Okay, I'm at cellmapper.net, and you'll see a few pop-ups here, one of which is asking for permission to access your location. You can allow that. That'll save a few steps, but I'm going to block it just to show you how to start from scratch here. I'll agree to the terms of service and close out this cookie banner. And so I, since I didn't allow it to uh, see my location, I have just a blank screen. So the way to uh, go to your location is to go to search and enter your city. Okay, great. So I entered Los Angeles and you can zoom in and out using your mouse wheel. Now let's look for some cell towers. So to do that, go to provider. And here's where we want to select uh, which cell company to use. Uh, let's start with Verizon. So you'll notice there are a couple options. For Verizon, you're going to want the one with 311 in the name. Okay, it pops up with a bunch of results. By default, it's selecting 4G towers. We want 5G, so let's see what happens if we select 5G. All right, we see nothing here. Let's go back. So the reason why we didn't see any 5G towers is that Verizon currently is putting their 5G infrastructure on top of their 4G infrastructure. They don't actually have any dedicated 5G towers at this time. But I will show you how to filter out the 4G towers to see the ones that do have 5G uh, transmitters on them. But first, let's, let's talk about these green dots. And those represent signal strength as measured by people uh, who had the Cell Mapper uh, mobile app and who allowed it to gather data on their Android phones. All of the data from on Cell Mapper is um, crowdsourced. So it comes from users, uh, and it's not guaranteed to be 100% accurate, but it's pretty close. So let's see what those green dots are. They represent signal strength, as I said, from um, crowdsourced um, data. And bright green is the strongest, going to dark green, and then red is the weakest. And then there are, there's, there are also uh, red and green towers, red meaning unverified and green mean, meaning verified. And that's just because this is all crowdsourced, so not all of it is, is verified. Let's now filter out the 4G towers to only see towers that are capable of 5G. So to, to do that, go to Filters and go down to Only Show 5G ENDC Capable Towers and check the box. And you'll see a bunch of towers disappeared. So now we're seeing <clears throat> towers that are capable of 5G. Now let's zoom in on one of them and click on it. 
When you do that, you'll see the actual cell regions associated with that tower. Now, the thing is, not all of those cells necessarily have 5G on them. So if uh, now cell 12 here, it does say 5G ENDC available, yes. So that means that that one is capable of 5G. And cell 12 is over here. So if your home is within this area, you'll know that you have uh, this 5G tower right there. Let's go down here. Yeah, and you'll see here the next um, cell, cell 14, does not have 5G. Cell 22 does. So you kind of have to scroll through this list, and you can also try checking, uh, clicking on these cells, and it'll jump to them. And you can see which ones have 5G or not. <clears throat> so that's pretty straightforward. And you can see that in the area of this cell, this, there's, a, there's a very good signal strength over here. Let's jump on over to T-Mobile and see what that's like. Uh, first of all, I'm going to clear my filter, though. So I'm showing all of the towers. Let's jump on over to T-Mobile provider. Now, there are a bunch of T-Mobile options here. Pick the one with 310 in it. OK, so T-Mobile also has lots of towers. And let's see if they have any 5G towers. So we'll click on this and click 5G. So T-Mobile does have 5G towers. OK, let's zoom in and click on one of these. OK, so we can see these cells associated with this tower. And these so these don't have the 5G description, but they are 5G towers, as denoted by the NR for new radio. Now, T-Mobile also has 4G towers with 5G infrastructure on top of them. Let's find those. So you can go to 4G and then do the same filter that we did before. And so these are the 4G towers that have 5G capability. Yeah, here's one, 5G ENDC available, yes, okay. So it looks like T-Mobile has a mixture of both types. Let's check out AT&T. And AT&T, search for the one with 310 in it. OK, we're looking at 4G towers here. And that is filtered. So you know what? Let's get rid of this filter so we can just start clean here. Let me refresh the browser here just to make sure. OK, now we're seeing all of the AT&T towers. Let's see if they have any 5G. So they do not. Let's go back to 4G. And we're going to want to filter. So click only show 5G in DC. And you'll see the AT&T towers. Let's zoom in on one of these. Click on it, and you see the cells associated with it. And we can, you know, click on a cell. So that one does not have 5G. Click on this one. This one does have 5G. So you can see, if your home was in this area, this would be your closest 5G tower. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Again, this is not 100% guaranteed to be accurate. It's maybe 80% accurate. But it's pretty good to get a feel for the 5G uh, strength um, in your area.
whatever you're looking for, your home or, or your work. So check it out, cellmapper.net. If this video was useful to you, please like it and subscribe to my channel, disablemycable.com. Thanks a lot.